What makes this problem different is that a tree is a non-linear data structure. If you had to compare if two link lists or two arrays are same, then it is pretty straightforward, right? You just start from the beginning and keep on iterating towards the end. And then you can determine if they are same or not. But what do you do about trees? Let us have a look at it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. First, I will explain you the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases. Next, I'm going to explain you what do you actually mean by trees being identical or same. And then going forward, we will see how you can determine if two given trees are same or not. Going forward, we will also do a dry run of the code so that you can understand and visualize how all of this actually works in action. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first let's make sure that we understand the problem statement accurately. In this problem, you are given two binary trees, correct? That means you will be given the roots of two different binary trees and you have to determine if they are exactly the same. So two trees are said to be same if they are structurally same and they have the same elements as well. So let us try to understand this with some example test cases. So in our first test case, you can see that we have two trees and both of these trees have the same elements 1, 2 and 3 and they have a same structure as well, right? A root and then a left and then a right. And even in this structure, all the elements are at the exact same position. So for this particular test case, you will return true as your answer, right? Now moving on, let us look at our second test case. In our second test case, you can see that although we have same elements 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 2, you can see that the structure of these two trees is not the same. In this case, you have a left node and in this case, you have a right node. So for test case number two, you are going to return false as your answer. Now let us look at our third test case. In this test case, you can see that our structure is the same root and then a left and then a right. Correct. And similarly, a root, a left and then a right. And if you look at it, the elements are also same 1, 2 and 1. And even in the second tree, you have 1, 2 and then 1 again. But in this structure, the position of these elements are not exactly the same. You can see that the root of left is 2 and in a second tree, the root of left is 1. And hence, in this test case also, you need to return false as your answer. So now, if you feel that you have understood the problem statement even better, feel free to try it out on your own. Otherwise, let us dive into the solution and first try to understand what exactly does it mean when you say a same tree. Okay, so once again, let us take up the same example that we had in our first test case, right? And you know that both of these trees, they are exactly the same. They have the same structure and all the nodes and their elements are placed at the same positions, right? So for this tree, you can say that, okay, I may be able to determine if two trees are the same, if I am able to have a same kind of traversal, right? It could be a level order traversal. It could be a post order traversal. It makes sense, right? If you're able to traverse a certain tree in one way and you get an answer. And if you're able to traverse the other tree in the same way and you get the same output, right? For example, you can say that, okay, if I traverse the first tree in a level order fashion, you can get one, two and three, right? And let us try to do a level order traversal of the second tree as well. So for the second tree, I will get one, two and three because that is how you do level order traversal, right? You will go level by level, level one and then level two. Similarly, you did level one for first tree and then level two for second tree. And that is how you were able to get both of these traversals. You can say that, okay, these two are the same. That means these two trees must be same and I can return a true as my answer, right? That feels okay. But think about it. Even if two trees that have different structures, they can have the same level order traversals. For example, I have these two sample trees in front of me, right? Now, what happens if you try to do a level order traversal in the first tree? You will get your output as one and then two, correct? Similarly, what happens when you do a level order traversal in the root two? So this is your first level and you will write down one. And then this is your second level. And then you're going to write down two, right? 
So you will feel that, hey, both of these are same and hence they must be the same tree. But no, you can see that these two trees are not same. And hence, traversing trees like this, it could be post-order, pre-order, they can give you a false positive. That means even though the traversal result is same, the trees might not be the same. So this is what it means when it comes to same trees. You need to identify a solution such that you can accurately say that, hey, these two given trees are exactly the same. So what do you do about it? Well, there is a neat little modification that you can apply to the level order traversal technique and arrive at your answer. If you want to take a moment to pause and think about that, feel free and go ahead. Otherwise, let us move along. So what we are going to do over here is we are going to go down to our basics. So just take a second tree and just separate it for a while, right? And now just try to remember how does a node look like in a binary tree? For every node, you will have a left child and a right child, correct? But in our problem, you see that I only have a left child. So does that mean that the right child does not exist? No, the right child over here still exists. The only thing is that the right child is a null. So it won't be incorrect if I try to represent my tree something like this, correct? And now just apply this method on every node in the tree that you find. So you can see the left of 2 is 3, but the right of 2 will be a null, correct? And similarly, node 3 also has two child nodes and both of them are null. So this is how the tree actually looks like. And what we're going to do is we are going to apply the same concept to our second tree as well. Each of these nodes will have a left child and a right child. And I hope now you are getting some idea. Try to apply the level order traversal technique now. For our first tree, I navigate through my first level and I get a 1. When I go to my second level, I get a 2 and then I get a null. So I am going to write down both of these values in my traversal. Moving on to my third level, I get a 3 and then a null. So I will continue writing this traversal along with all the nulls as well. And ultimately, I arrive at my final level and both of them are null. So you see what we are doing over here? We are taking advantage of the entire tree. Now just apply the level order traversal technique to the second tree as well. So I navigate through my first level and then I get a 1. Go to the next level and then you will get a null and then a 2. So you see how we are able to distinguish between these two trees now? Just keep on moving ahead. In a third level, you get a 3 and then a null. And then ultimately for the last level, you will get two nulls. And now what you got to do is compare these two traverses. The two traverses that have all the null values in them as well. And then if these two traverses are also equal, then you can say that, okay, these two trees are exactly the same. Since in this scenario, they both are not equal, so you are going to say false. So you see what we did? We took advantage of the level order traversal technique to arrive at a solution. I know that I'm talking about level order traversal a lot. So if you want to go ahead and revise the concept, you can find the link in the description below. It is going to be super simple once you clearly know how a level order traversal actually works. So now, let us quickly do a dry run of the code and understand how all of this actually works in action. On the left side of your screen, you have the actual code to implement this solution. And on the right, I have these two sample trees, right? And root 1 and root 2, that represents these two trees, are passed in as an input parameter to the function if same tree. And yes, this complete code and its test cases are also available in my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. So moving ahead with a dry run, what is the first thing that we do? If you remember, in a level order traversal, we take a help of a queue. So we do the same again. We create a queue and in this queue, we are going to add both the roots, root 1 and root 2. So when I form a queue, it will look something like this. You can see that roots from both the trees are now available in my queue, correct? Now moving ahead with a dry run. Now moving ahead with a dry run, we start a while loop 
until our queue is completely empty. That is how we know that we have traversed through every element, correct? So the way level order traversal works is we will try to pull out elements from the queue and then look at its left child and the right child. And every time we are pulling out elements from the queue, we are going to compare if the element from tree 1 equals the element from tree 2, right? And that is exactly what we do in our equality check. So first of all, we check if first equals to null and second equals to null. That means we have completed our complete iteration and we will just exit out of the loop, right? But if none of them are null, so we arrive at our else condition and we are going to compare if the first value is not equal to the second value. Right now, both of these values are equal, right? So this loop will continue and we won't do anything else in an equality condition. So what do we do next? Now we need to add all of these other nodes to our queue and the way that we add them. So first of all, we will add the left node of the first tree and then we are going to add the left node of the second tree. So what is the first node of the left tree? That is two. So two will get added in the queue. And in the second step, what do we add? We add the left node of the second tree, right? And if you look, the left node of a second tree is null. And hence, we are exactly going to add null in the queue, right? Similarly, going on, I will then add the right child of the first node. That means I am adding a null that is present of the first tree. And then in the last step, I will add the right child of the second tree. The right child of the second tree is 2 and this is what gets added to my queue again. Correct? So now think about it. Our loop will run again and we are gonna poll two elements again, first and second. So this first element will come out for the first tree and the second element will come out for the second tree. Right? If they are equal, well go ahead and move along. But right now these two are not equal. Right? So that is where this equality condition will fail and we will immediately return a false. If this loop passes on without any errors, we reach the end and then we will return a true. That means both our trees were exactly the same. The time complexity of this solution will be order of n. That is because we need to traverse through the entire tree. So if there are n nodes, we have to traverse through each of the nodes. Correct? And the space complexity of this solution is also order of n because we are taking up a queue space to store all of our tree elements. I hope I was able to simplify the problem and its solution for you. As per my final thoughts, I just want to say that you might be wondering why do I even need to compare if two trees are same or not? Well, that happens usually when you are writing test cases. So for example, if you want to determine if two arrays are equal or if two linked lists are equal, certainly you would be able to find some libraries where you can directly use these functions. But when it comes to trees, there are no standard libraries that can help to determine easily if two given tree data structures are equal. Because the implementation of a tree data structure also differs between each user and how you're using it, correct? So that is one area where you need to understand concepts like these and these problems come in very, very handy. So while going through this video, did you face any problems or have you found any other such problems which you thought that, okay, these are very unconventional and why am I even solving them? So tell me all of these things in the comment section below and I would love to discuss all of them with you. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. You can also check out my website studyalgorithms.com. Also let me know what problems do you want me to solve next. Until then, see ya.